Hi, I'm Clara. I'm a co-director of Mismatch, and I'm from Los Angeles, California. Hi, I'm Joseph Tuma. I'm from West Virginia, and I'm in Chapel Hill, North Carolina. Hi, I'm Emmanuel Sippy, and I'm in Lexington, Kentucky. Hi, my name is Adam King. I'm the lead developer of Mismatch, and I'm in San Diego, California. Joseph, Emmanuel, and I are part of Bridge the Divide, an organization Joe and I founded in 2016 to promote political conversation amongst youth from the left and the right in a time of great divide in the country and in the world. We are joining each other and recording this video on the beta platform of our new initiative, Mismatch, which we've developed using Ruby on Rails, Twilio, Typeform, and other technologies. In the fall of 2018, Bridge the Divide won a $50,000 grant from the Facebook Community Leadership Program. We decided to invest this money into building a platform to address the sharp divisions in our country, and we wanted to start with young people, specifically middle and high school students. Our big idea was Mismatch, a purpose-built, real-time video conferencing platform that connects students across distance and divides to engage in face-to-face -face dialogue. The basic idea is to pair two classrooms that are different from their location to their makeup ethnically, to student socioeconomic status, and political leaning, and then bring students together in a conversation on contentious, nuanced topics. This is so important because we're living in a time of hyperpolarization in America and the isolated bubbles that we live in where only our political views are reinforced are the number one cause behind the division we see in our country and around the world. Filter bubbles discourage free speech and open dialogue, create misconceptions and extremism and promote animosity and division. We see young people as a solution to this problem. If we give middle and high school students the opportunity and the tools to expand their worldview and to get outside of their bubbles, our political future will hopefully be a lot more united than it is divided. The example we're showing here on the right is our guided conversation about free speech, but Mismatch includes a built-in library of topics provided by our partner organization, Living Room Conversations. All sides in Living Room Conversations are joint partners in this project, along with Bridge the Divide. First, teachers sign up their classrooms and fill out a basic profile about the makeup of their class. Then our algorithm will work like a dating site by mismatching them with another classroom. The algorithm will then find a time for both classes to meet to engage in their structured video conversation. And the teachers and students will decide together which conversation topic to choose. The conversation actually takes place on the platform we're using right now. Since January 2019, we built a working prototype seen here, and launched a pilot in over 20 middle and high school classrooms around the U.S. 280 students have participated in mismatch conversations thus far. Another organization that serves middle and high school students, called Close Up Foundation, is also piloting mismatch in several classrooms right now. We're so excited to officially launch mismatch in the fall of 2019. Visit our website, www.mismatch.org, to learn more. Thank you so much.